He may have just left office, but Donald Trump is already back in the spotlight. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is proposing a delay for the former president's impeachment trial. Mr. McConnell has asked the Democrats to hold off sending the charges until late next week. Now, that would allow Mr. Trump two weeks to prepare his defense. He became the first U.S. president to be impeached for a second time, accused of incitement of insurrection after the storming of the Capitol. The White House says President Biden will let Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer decide on the timeline with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Simon Marks is live in Washington, D.C., Simon, it's just a day into the Biden presidency and a tussle's already emerged over the timing of Trump's second impeachment trial. Yeah, it's complicated, this one, for everybody up on Capitol Hill and indeed for the White House, because the Democrats are concerned that if the impeachment trial doesn't take place for several weeks and the Republicans are, pro are proposing at least a two-week delay, uh, then it is first of all going to uh, gather attention right in the middle of Joe Biden's first crucial 100 days. And secondly, uh, that it is going to uh, divide the uh, amount of time that the Senate has uh, available to get many of Joe Biden's uh, picks confirmed and onto his team, not just the senior level cabinet picks, but many of the lower level picks that have to be uh, confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Uh, the Republicans are saying it's only fair to Donald Trump now that he has identified a lawyer, uh, a man by the name of Butch Bowers from South Carolina is going to represent him at the impeachment trial whenever it begins. The Republicans say got to give him two weeks to prepare a defense. Uh, how all this works itself out is going to be largely up to the new Senate Majority Leader, Charles Schumer. The White House uh, is publicly at least saying, uh, we have no dog in this fight. It's entirely up to Capitol Hill to resolve. We could see the trial as early as next week. Uh, we may not see it for several weeks to come. Well, meantime, Simon, Dr. Anthony Fauci, he's back. He's feeling liberated in his first coronavirus briefing for the new administration, we gather. Yeah, it was extraordinary. I mean, he was like a different man behind that White House podium last night and openly talking about his sense of relief, as he put it, in being able to come to the White House podium. And for the first time, if he was asked a question that he didn't know the answer to, he was able to say, I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to have to go away and look at it and come back to you rather than guess uh, in order to appease uh, a political master, namely the former president of the United States. He literally described himself as liberated, not least because he said it was made absolutely clear to him by President Biden just 15 minutes before that briefing that the central thrust of US government policy towards COVID-19 is now to be led entirely by the science and to allow doctors like Anthony Fauci, who were denigrated, undermined and undercut by President Trump at every turn to present the facts to the American people. So very much, he argues, a new day in America's approach to COVID-19. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, thank you very much for that. Simon Mark, speaking to us from Washington, D.C.